I have just recorded four videos a row and I am pumped and proud because I sat down this morning. I sat down last week to do this and I was like, I just don't have the energy. Also, I was sick. So I was just gonna do one. And then even this morning, I was like, I'm just gonna do one. I'm just gonna put them all together. But then when I started writing notes for the books, I was like, no, these deserve their own videos. So welcome to my corner. Um, I decided to do a video from a standing position, which I haven't done ages. It's actually quite funny because my tripod does not support, um, it just doesn't, it's not high enough. So I've had to put my tripod on some concrete bricks, um, which I will show you now. I'm filming, this is my, this is me filming my, that's my camera. This is where my notes are <laughs> just balanced on a thing. Um, and those are the concrete bricks. I have a lot of concrete bricks because I made a bookcase with some bricks in it. And I bought, I bought far too many. I bought a lot of, I bought like 450 kilos of bricks. Let's not go into that. Hello. So this is about the books I read in January. Yeah. It's like a whole week into February now. I don't care. Do you care? You're still getting the content. Um, so I read four books and I listened to three audiobooks. Two of those audiobooks were Harry Potter. So we'll just discard them. Yeah, they're great. Moving on. The other audiobook I read was This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay. This came out in 2017 and it is the memoirs of a junior doctor by a man who was a junior doctor between the years of 2004 and 2010 and then he switched careers to become like a, a tv comedy writer i feel like everyone and their mom has read this book and i was so prepared to hate it <laughs> i was like hate listening to it you know because i've read like quite a few medical memoirs i get it i really like them um and i thought this book would be more of the same but with a twinge of um like political i feel like a lot of people were talking about it as like oh what junior doctors have to go through there is a narrative in the uk um over the past couple years that junior doctors have it really hard and don't get compensation enough for it and that the big wigs in government don't care about them so there's this there's this narrative that i thought that this book was there to support and um that that was like the whole agenda of the book and that was certainly the way it was marketed but actually, in practicalities, that's not the, the it wasn't a heavy handed, like political message at all. It was just a fun book about stories of being a junior doctor. It was pretty stark. Um, but I mean, he's a comedy writer now. So a lot of elements were very humorous, but they also had some moments of, of real poignancy, like especially the um, events that led up to him quitting being a doctor uh, were really moving and that really surprised me. However, when reading medical memoirs, I'm not really there for the laughs. I'm there for like the information and the wisdom. Um, and that's why I generally prefer more mature medical memoirs. Um, so I will recommend you to, if you're interested in this area, uh, Do No Harm by Henry Marsh. I lent my copy, so I can't hold it up. Um, but that is a like fantastic read of a um, British uh, neurosurgeon looking back on his life in neurosurgery. Um, one that I read like a year and a bit ago, that I, that's just too far away for me to get, um, is When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. This is a phenomenal book. I have mentioned it in videos before, and it is about um, an American, is he also a neurosurgeon? That doesn't seem right. Maybe he is. Anyway, um, he is like a pretty high up doctor and then he finds out that he has cancer and is probably gonna die from it. And so it's about like his life as a doctor, but then also like becoming the patient and um, it's fantastically well written. So that's great. Anyway, this is going to hurt. Solid, solid read. Enjoyable, entertaining. Um, I, the audiobook's read by the author and like, I'm just so surprised I, I didn't hate it. <laughs> So that's good. And then the four books I read were, I started the year by rereading Perks of Being a Wallflower. Like I need to do the whole start the year with a reread thing every year because it's just so rewarding and nice. And this is very quick um, and loved it. Made a video about that. I was kind of in the mood to start January by just like pumping out books. <laughs> I just wanted to like have read a lot of books at the start of January to get myself off to a good start on my Goodreads challenge. Um, so uh, I read Exit West by Mosleen Hamid. It was one of those things where I came into this room and I was like, I need, an, I want another short-ish 
fiction that's not too heavy but also not too vapid um and i saw this uh, it's my boyfriend's book um and was like you know what i'll read it um i didn't like it that much it frustrated me because it read like a parable um you can hear more about that in my book review next book i read um was pachinko by min jin lee this is pretty chunky and i think i i had this geared up to read after perks and then i was like i need to take on something smaller before i take on something that's chunky um and this was really good i had basically only one criticism of it but that kind of like really pulled me back from enjoying it completely as a novel um you can hear me talk about that in my video all the links will be down below i feel like i'm a salesperson <laughs> like i've got all these books and it's like you can buy this one and this one uh the last book i read for the month was an american marriage by tayari jones and um, reason all these videos are quite late is because i had well, I mean, it was because I was sick last week and couldn't be bothered to film a video, but also because I had a book club yesterday about this book uh, where we discuss it and it sort of like solidified my feelings on it because we all had quite similar views, which were that um, the there was a very interesting element of it, of the, the dynamic of the relationship between these um, two people. They're married, he gets put in jail for something he didn't do. It's like, how did they navigate that? Um, but we were all just quite like, felt a bit let down um, by the whole, the portrayal of like wrongful conviction and not focusing on it, but also getting all of the like marketing points for being about this issue that's very topical in America at the moment. So, you know, take it or leave it. Watch the, the book video if you want to find out more. So yeah, that was January for me. I think I got off to a fairly punchy start. Um, and then this month I've already read two books. So I'm three books. Oh wow, I'm doing even better in February. I probably won't read as many in February. I feel like you really have to push through February and then after that you can relax a bit. Um, I don't want my life to be about achieving my Goodreads goals because you know, that's not a way to live. That's not a way to read. But it is nice to have some sort of like practical motivation, um, especially in times when you're not really feeling it. But I'm actually, I'm really enjoying, like last week I, I, I was like not really enjoying reading. I was kind of, I read this book, you'll hear about it next month. Um, and then I just like listened to an audio book that I knew I was gonna love and had just, I don't know why I'd been putting off reading it and it was like so good. Um, and now I'm just like, all of the books, <laughs> I have so many books. Do you like this new display by the way? Cause it was really like, I thought this room would be perfect to record book reviews in. Uh, I didn't I didn't think I'd have issues with like angles and lighting, but it's, it's a bit tricky. But actually I think this is pretty good. Now I have some art on the wall. I couldn't do this in previous months cause it was just like a white space here. But now I have a lovely print on the wall. I think this is framed quite nicely and you can still see some some books I can still prove to you that you know I'm a wanker who organizes my books by color I'm just rambling now aren't I this happens every month before I leave I'm thinking of making a char reads website that has information about all of the books I've read and the relevant videos and whatnot and then also putting it into like an email newsletter so instead of or supplementary to these wonderful videos you'd also get like a monthly email that just had my the topic i read this month short description and then here are the other books i read like one sentences um is that the kind of thing that would interest you is the idea of having like a, a shorter snappier email newsletter appealing or is the idea of an email newsletter would you want it to go into more depth that this wouldn't change what i'm doing with the channel at all um it would just more be like another thing and you know I like making websites so that's what I do. <laughs> Tell me what you've been reading and enjoying this year so far I genuinely would like to hear it and thank you for letting me do this every month. This is such a ridiculous thing that I'm just standing in front of a camera and I know that people are gonna see it and that's kind of really cool and exciting and like community. Oh, Also add me on Goodreads. Okay that's enough, bye. <laughs>